I was telling the renter that my two worst enemies in life are water leaks and Jezebel. And both of them I attack as fast as I can. With Jezebel, you really can't attack. You just need to run. <laughs> Pray to God that God knocks her back because Jezebel's got too many flying monkeys to mess with you. Now, you can face off with her flying monkeys and uh, just like Elijah, but Jezebel tries to put herself in a position of power where what she says people believe or they might not believe it but they think about think about what Jezebel really did think about it and the reason a water leak is so bad because water leaks goes down the wall can rot the wall out can rot the floor out you know Rot the joists underneath and everything. It's a, it's a job when something like that happens. Anyway, Jezebel, think about what Jezebel did. Jezebel put herself, she married Ahab. She put herself in a position where she married and she demasculated Ahab. Either whether he was, maybe he was that way to, from the get go, you know, who knows. But she, Ahab was crying, oh, I can't have his orchard. I can't have his orchard like a little girl, you know. And Jezebel said, you're the king. Make the decree. So they had a law of inheritance. So the king, through Jezebel, stole, the, because of Jezebel, stole the man's land, you know. Through a law, making a decree, you know. Or however he did. She just found a weak man. Anyway, she would paint her face, and she probably had sex with 450 false prophets. She would probably lure, 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 L-U-R-E, lure, lure. I don't know if you say it, lure or lure. She would lure them in with her painted face and her sex, and the false prophets would tell the nation lies. And Elijah said, if, I, if God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is the real God, let's, ha let's have a, have a, have a face-off in front of all the people. And so all the false prophets were cutting themselves and crying and hollering and nothing happened. Nothing happened from heaven. And Elijah said, pour some water on the pour some water on it put more water on it so they can't so they can't argue when it happens I think Elijah prayed and the fire came down I think it was like an offering a burnt offering or something fire came down and burned up whatever was on there I guess it was some kind of offering even even with extra water burned it up and they killed the 450 prophets and Jezebel said you're a dead man before the sun goes down. So with that great victory, then he ran from Jezebel. He got scared and he ran, you know, with that great victory. Then he had a, then he had a fall, you know, but God sustained him and uh, I think an angel made him some food or something. I need to read that story again. <sighs> My point is, then Jehu, he went and took Jezebel, and Jezebel had a bunch of eunuchs. Even her husband was a spiritual eunuch. He was, gave up his manhood for some Jezebel. Anyway, 
and that's what's happening in our society i promise you that's most of the time i mean a lot of and i do i take a lot of people i pick up a lot of people from the colleges from i mean i, I listen to them talking and if they can't steal their manhood they go to somebody else see when you have the strong boundaries up unless it's a born again woman who understands that the Jezebel spirit is bad news, bad news bears. But you put up strong boundaries. See, here's how the narcissistic Jezebel spirit works. It's looking who is weak that they can prey on. Think about what I'm telling you. It has to prey on somebody to survive because of its insecurities, its ignorance, its laziness, all that stuff. Jezebel's actually lazy, ignorant, insecure, and all that stuff. So she's, she, or it could be he, they are looking for somebody to prey on, right? And when your boundaries are strong, see, they're not used to that. They are like, they're reptilian shapeshifters. They're psychopaths. They're, they're human, but they... They received the spirit of the devil or the spirit of Cain. And so they come after those who they think have no boundaries, you know. And then when you keep putting up the boundaries, uh, they have to go after you, right? Because they're going to they're gonna brag about, yeah, watch, I'm going to take his boundary down. I'm going to get in his world and cause chaos in his world. And, steal his house and go do this and do this and so when you overcome Jezebel by just standing firm in the truth and in boundaries when you overcome Jezebel she's already bragged and said she's, look, at, look I'm going to take somebody down and she doesn't she can't God is with you, not with Jezebel, as long as you keep the boundaries, as long as you don't play it on her tennis court. But anyway, Jehu threw it out. Uh, the eunuchs didn't, they, they didn't like her, but they were stuck, you know. So they threw her out the window. The dogs ate up her blood, you know. Licked up her blood. So anyway, that's how you have to do it. You have to throw Jezebel out the window. And one way you do it is set boundaries. Be aware of the games and the tricks. Be aware of the flying monkeys all around that are trying to get in the door. Be aware of the gossip, the backbiting, the lies, the half-truths. I mean, it's gotten to the point now they'll do uh, deep fakes, they'll do video, they'll do deep fake images, videos, uh, Photoshop. They're gonna try to, t they're gonna try to shut down the born again Christian. This is, I, even in the church, I remember talking to Christians in the church. I said, why don't you, go online and reach a million people and they said no nah, i got there uh, i can't do that because i got a job and a family they know that they're going to be attacked they know they're going to be attacked and i don't blame them i mean why sacrifice your job and your family uh for people who really don't even care about you you know but you give out the good news god sees it but you uh a lot of times, if a man's got a wife who's got a good job, and he's out there giving out the good news, being attacked, she's pretty much in a power, it's like a power struggle, even in the family, where she's got a good job, he don't. I've seen a lot of these men, they talk a big talk, like, I, like they've got something going on, but it's usually the wife's got making all the money, and she's telling him what to do, but they put on that, they have to over, it's like, it's imbalanced, and so the men have to overdo it with their toys, their tools, their uh, boasting about what I did or they did, or and they never did anything. I did this, I did this, I did this, and it was really their mama or their daddy or their wife, you know. They didn't do jack. They just obeyed. <laughs> they obeyed Jezebel. Anyway. I know this is hard truth because I know what's happening in so many people's lives. It's just, and they don't see a way out. Just walk, way out is just walk away. Put boundaries. Put boundaries. If you, if you realize you've, you've yoked up with a narcissist, 
male or female dealing with this if you've yoked up with a narcissist start planning putting boundaries yeah they'll try to get you fired yeah they'll try to get you to do this get good at what you do have a resume on standby do a part-time job set the boundaries save some money and get the bleep out as soon as you can because uh, they're still in your soul they're still in your manhood if it's a woman married to a jezebel man they're trying to turn the woman into jezebel they're still in her soul trying to make her a jezebel the if she's married to an unsaved man she tries to get him i mean he tries to get her to do his role if she's married to a jezebel man a narcissistic jezebel man he wants to play video games while she's working crazy world people so anyway i told him that yeah i didn't get a response renner didn't respond but your water water is your worst enemy when it comes to buildings or whatever think about those flat roofs how much they could leak you know and you got to get up there fast and fix it before it messes stuff stuff up you just get something roll on it if it's uh shingles get you go get you some roll of roofing and put over top of the area that's leaking it doesn't take long a couple hours and you're done Anyway, whatever your worst enemy is, attack it. And if it's a Jezebel spirit, put up boundaries, and that's how you attack it because a boundary to them is a law, you know?